Rabu Masecha, Masecha Hashem. Wow. We say it in Davening, Tehillim. The words translate to mean, How great are your wonders, Hashem, God. You have made all of them with wisdom. The world is full of your possessions. And the king is elevated from before time. Extolled, glorified, exalted. Again, from the time of creation. You know, when you look at the world, <laughs> wow, what a world, what a world. You know, we can't help be amazed by the wonders that we see. The world is, is a com perfect computer program, and God Almighty is the ultimate programmer. Everything that God created follows its nature. Nothing innovates. You know, the sun always rises in the east, always sets in the west. It doesn't forget to, sh to show up one day. It does exactly what God has programmed it to do. The only thing that has the ability to go against nature is God, is man, man that God created. It says that uh, man was given the ability, again, to have bechira, free will, choice. The Torah says that man was created B'Tselem Elohim, in the image of God, which is really strange, because we have a belief that God has no image. So what does it mean that man was created B'Tselem Elohim in the image of God? And our rabbis tell us what that tells us is, is that everything in creation, again, is a program. It does exactly what God has programmed it to do. But man, man has the ability to break the program. Man has free will. He can decide what he wants to do, even though it's against God's will. Nothing else does that. Everything follows it. And it's amazing. I often wonder why doctors and scientists are not the most religious of people. To see the wonders of what God has done. I remember being at a factory, Ford factory, and they, were, they had robots on the line. And they said something that amazed me. They said the robots, not only can they build a car, if they break down, they can fix themselves. And that blew me away. Amazing that a machine can fix itself. Wow. <laughs> and then I thought, what about us? If you cut your finger, it heals. You know, Socrates said that a doctor keeps the patient company while God does his miracles. Science can tell you when Haley's com comet is coming to the second, and it will be there. And that's many, many years away, and yet it shows up when it's supposed to show up. Because everything, God, we never understood God as well as we do today. How great is your wonders. God is the ultimate programmer. Nothing goes against what he has programmed. Look at the cities, all the skyscrapers, everything, planes. How does an apartment building get up in the air? How do we send something out into space? All that, the longevity that we have, medicine, the cell phone, just beyond belief. I mean, all these things were a joke when I was a kid. There was a Dick Tracy watch that he talked into. Who thought it would ever happen? How great are your wonders, God. We are so privileged, especially in the age that we live. All the miracles. I don't know how Jews were Jews. I don't know how they studied anything. The printed word was not written, was not printed in Hebrew until 1475. How did you study anything? How did they know anything? Today, every place you go, everything you see, lectures, phone, phone, podcast, on and on, what we're doing now. I mean, this is, this is, I believe that if someone who stood at Mount Sinai and saw the miracles of giving of the Torah spent the day with you, his mouth would never close. What a miraculous world we live in. What we need to do is thank God for all of the miracles.